Earlier, we have seen how to group using dates with pivot table. The limitation of that approach is the assumption that your financial year begins in January, which is also called the calendar year. But in some countries, the financial or fiscal year does not match the calendar year. Fiscal years can begin on different months like April, July or October. In order to manage this situation, we have to first do some work outside the pivot table before you can do the fiscal year based grouping. Initially, we create a lookup table which can be used to translate any date into the fiscal equivalent year, quarter and month. Once this lookup table is ready, we can use the fiscal information and incorporate it into our base data using VLOOKUP. So let's see how to create that lookup table. First thing is we need to know when the financial year begins. That will depend on which country you are working on. And that doesn't change. So we need to fix it somewhere. So I have put that financial year ending month as 6. What does that mean? The year begins in month 7 which is July. For simplifying formulas I have given a name to this cell O1. Instead of calling it O1 I have called it FEM so that our formulas become more easy to understand. How do you create a name? Just click on the cell, type a name here and that's it. Now let's look at the first column. This column is going to be used for VLOOKUP. How many dates you add here depends on the minimum and maximum date in your raw data. Keep a buffer of one year on both sides if you like. My data is for two years from 14 to 16. So I have started with 1st July 2014 and ended with 2016. The first date which is 1st of July 2014 I have added manually. Other dates need to be 3 months away from each other. So we need a formula. The edate function gives you a simple way of adding or subtracting months from a given date. 3 means 3 months ahead, minus 3 means 3 months before. Coming to the financial year, it looks like a complex formula but it is not. I will explain how this works. Basically we are taking this date converting it to a month, in this case it will be month 7 and then we are comparing it with the end month which is 6. 7 is not less than 6 so we skip this and add a year. The concept is although this is a date in year 14, fiscal year is given a year based on the year in which it ends. That's why we have to add one more year to 14 and that's what we just achieved using this formula. Now we want to calculate the fiscal month for that date. That is done using this formula. This is fairly simple formula but it takes a while to understand what's happening. So I strongly suggest you download this file, look at the formula, try it with different numbers and then you will learn better. In fact let me show you a very sophisticated and useful way in which you can learn as well as troubleshoot complex formulas. Click on the cell containing the formula. Go to formulas tab and click on evaluate formula. It shows you the entire formula in a separate window. There is an underline there. What does that mean? That is the first thing which is going to get evaluated. When you click on the evaluate button, the results will be shown. Then the underline changes to show you what is the next calculation. Again you evaluate step by step and then you can actually see the final result evolving and then you learn how this happened much better. Now to calculate quarters we actually need this FMO column. I have just added Q as text before that but the formula is integer of FMO plus 2 and the whole thing divided by 3. Again you try it out and then you will learn the syntax as well as the logic behind it much better. Finally I am taking the year, the quarter and combining them in the last column. I am adding the characters FY before that and then I am only taking the rightmost two digits so that we don't see a four digit year and a space bar and the quarter. So now we are ready with our lookup table. It's time to incorporate this information into our base data using VLOOKUP. How is the VLOOKUP going to work? Suppose I am working on a date which is not exactly any of these dates. That's very likely to happen because for three months we have just one representative here. Suppose the date was 25th August. What is VLOOKUP going to do? It's going to start searching for it from top to bottom. 
this date is less than the desired date this date is greater when it finds a greater date it goes back and fits it here that's called a range lookup now when i'm doing this on august i can use this financial year which is correct i can use the quarter also which is correct but i cannot use this month because this month was for july for august that month should be number two so when we do we look up we are going to use the fy and fqtr as it is using we look up but the actual fmo or the fiscal month we will calculate on a row by row basis using the same formula inside our base data so here is our base data i'm going to add three columns and let me just name them this is a very simple we look up so let's go ahead and do it what am i looking up this date where am i looking up in that particular table i have given a name to this table to simplify our formula entry that's called fiscal table i want data from the second column which contains the year so i type 2 and this is a range lookup so we say 1 now because i just added a formula from there all these formulas have inherited the formatting of the date column that's why all of them will be formatted as a date so i'm just going to select all three of them so I'm going to select all these three columns, press Ctrl-1, which is shortcut for format cells. I'll go to General, which basically removes all the special formatting. And now it will reveal the year behind it. Let's do the same thing for quarters. Formula is similar. The column which shows financial quarters is the fourth one in our base table. So I type 4 and 1 that's also done now month we have to put the formula here so i'm just going to copy paste the formula from our base table fem remains the same but in this case the date comes from our date field so instead of doing this i'm going to use the date itself that's the only change required and then it will give me the correct information here this is october so this is the fourth financial or fiscal month in that year now we have all the raw data we need so we can create a pivot table quickly so let's create a pivot table and then drag fiscal year fiscal quarter and fiscal month into it and then of course we can add amount to get the summation of business done in those contexts that is how we do analysis of data using fiscal year, fiscal quarter and fiscal month where the financial year does not begin with January. I strongly suggest you download this file, learn the syntax of all the formulas and I am sure you will be very confident of using it with your own data anytime later.